Friday, May 29th, 2020. It's 3, 13 p.m. And it's time to read Romans chapter 8. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity to read your word. And thank you, Jesus, for the view that I have outside of my front window. And I pray, Lord, that the people that I see parading up and down the street in front of my house here in Dallas, walking their designer dogs, that just one of them, or two, or three, or ten, or a hundred, will recognize your voice when you call. My way to witness to them is on Sunday mornings to blare the, the message. I open up my windows and I turn up the, the TV, the speakers as loud as I can and let them hear me praising the Lord. And they look, they look this direction and their dogs stop and look this direction and um, well, I noticed after the first week I did that more look, but then the second week most of them had headphones on because they didn't want to hear it. But anyway, Lord, I pray that I pray that uh, they know you, and I pray for the veil of protection over this house until we move out of here. Okay, Romans chapter eight. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they are, that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's me. I feel like I don't fit into this world anymore. Definitely where I am, I don't fit in with anybody. I have nothing in common with anybody. <laughs> okay. Verse 6. Besides the, 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 there's some, there's a remnant out there that are making videos right now. These videos are going to be left behind for those who are left behind. And that's a wonderful thing. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Okay. Verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity as against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Verse 10, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye, through the Spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage against again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. That's one of my favorite verses right there. Verse 16. Y'all know, I see my high-tech uh, set up here with the phone. Verse 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, 
that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, eat spirit even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, to wit, the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what for what a man seeth, why doth he hope for why he doth yet hope for? Uh huh. The the mysteries of this word are unfolding. And it, the word, the word that I got from the Holy Spirit is that as I'm reading this, and the mysteries are unfolding in my spirit, that as such, that is going to flow through these videos that I'm making. That the hearer, for those who have the ears to hear that th this word, that it's going to do the same for them. Glory to God. The same as all the testimony that I've given throughout. That that my travail that my overcoming my deliverance is is going to bring others to him in 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 that way this is the promise that he made to me that my deliverance is going to supernaturally deliver other people in the in the blink of an eye, in the snap of a finger, just like that, where others won't have to suffer through the roller coaster ride that I did. Hallelujah! And I could only that's I, that would be the most fantastic blessing that I could ever receive from the Lord Almighty. That I could help people. To overcome their afflictions and their pain and their suffering. Just with the word of God. Well, not just with the word of God. Because the word of God is everything. The word of God is the alpha and the omega. The beginning and the ending. The first and the last. Death to life. So. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. Okay. Verse 25, but if we hope that, but if, but if we hope for that we see, for, if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Yes. This is another thing that has been a, been a, been a work in me is patience. And I suppose that's why I've been here in this place for seven years is because I finally in my life. I developed patience and I could see the promise coming down that dusty road where holy his healing virtue flows he holds the key to what we need okay verse 26 likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered this is where praying in the spirit comes in and boy, once I got that, I really got it. Okay, uh, verse twenty-seven. And he that had he and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good for the for a good for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I want to stop really quick and pray for Deidre Grubbs who is serving a life without parole sentence in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice 
for um, capital murder. She was all tweaked out and um, with her husband and her husband killed a man and uh, anyway she is in prison and in a Montgomery County jail she she sang to me and she she <laughs> oh wow what a what an anointed lady she is but I know that when the rapture happens that she is going to be taken up out of that prison and I'm going to see her over there Anyway, um, drugs will destroy your lives, kids. Okay, verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Hallelujah. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of... Who, wait, blah, blah, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? No. Hallelujah, no. Nothing shall separate us from Christ. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thank you, Jesus.